Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to the farm. Hey, Paul. Ah, what a good dog. So here we are. It's been a few months since we last popped in. And as you can see, we've got just an excessive amount of fruits and vegetables here. Look at all this strawberries, tomatoes, not so much lettuce, but a decent amount. And look over here. We've decided to build a barn to store some of these fruits and vegetables. Actually, I think we're going to move the, the combine over here. And maybe store the fruits and vegetables in, in that barn. But, we're going to have to build this first. That's going to be a Herculean task. But, I think we can handle it. So let's get to it. Here we go. Look at that. We got ourselves a barn. And what a beauty she is. It is a little close to the silo, but... No biggie. Fits pretty good. Let's open her up and take a look. Ooh. She's pretty nice. I think she's got a light. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, well, first things first, let's move that harvester into its new home. Ooh. So instead of just instant selling these when we get them here, I think we're going to wait till they're at their peak value. We'll try to maximize our profit as much as we can. Let's see where we're at. We do have quite a bit of money, 121 grand. So we're in a decent spot. But we're actually going to spend some more money in this episode. So you just hold on to your horses. Let's see if I can back this in here. Yeah, this barn is much more fitting for this. Look at all the room she's got now. Beautiful. That is great. I'm really excited about that. And that gives us a lot of room to expand the farm. We could even park the trailers right in here. I think that would be a good fit, actually. Let's plop one in there and see how it looks. Since we're talking about it and everything. And I'm not sure when the ideal time to sell all these fruits and vegetables are. So we'll have to take a look at that and keep an eye on it and figure that out. I know this truck doesn't pull this trailer very good, but I think it can make it over there at least. Oh, 
Watch out, bird. It's going to be a little tight getting in there, but I think we'll be able to manage. Let's stick this one far. Oh, or not. Or right in the middle. Okay. Oh boy. Not the best backup job. Well, I guess that's not in far enough. Let me push it back a little bit. I think we can. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh. Man, I need to get a raised up truck if I'm going to pull that trailer around. I don't know. Should we. Should we put the big wheels back on this truck? Maybe. At this point, maybe we should. And then get maybe a different vehicle to drive around town with. Because this is the old farm truck after all. So it's not meant to drive around town, it's, it's meant for the farm. She's still got a lot of life left in her, so we don't want to take away all our duties. Ooh, that's going to be tough with that lettuce. Let's see if I can skirt it. Ooh, look at that. Perfect. Oh, maybe not. Talked a little too soon. A decent enough parking job. Ooh, she's a little long for it, but it fits. I'm okay with that. For the moment, anyway. Ah, that looks good. Turn that off, save us a little bit of money on the electricity bill. Ah, uh, so yeah. What's next on the docket? I've been thinking about buying a forklift to shuffle all this around the farm. Seems like that would be a pretty good idea. Look at this. We just have an excessive stack. Let's check out the best time to sell this, actually. So... For the lettuce, we're looking at... January. Ooh, so that, uh, that actually just went by. So we either stack it all year... Yeah, we can stack it all year. We're not worried about it, right? I don't think we're that worried. Uh, yeah. Tomatoes, January as well. Are these all January? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh man, I don't know if we can stack strawberries all year round. This is only a few months worth. We're gonna need a bigger barn. Stupid seed. There is a decent amount of room in here, but I guess we could stack it just on top of each other. It's not a bad idea. Alright, let's... Let's run over to that far field over there, because I've got a little idea for that. Actually, I've got a whole plan for that. Let me grab the truck. We'll drive over there and we'll talk about it. This barn is a little bit intrusive. It kind of blocks the view and such, but... 
I don't know. You let me know if you think it's too intrusive on the farm. I think it looks good, but it does take up a lot of room. And we do need a little bit more storage. So anyway, on that new field that we have over there, in the last episode you'll remember we took out the sugar beets. And by the way, I was looking into putting a fence around the property, but man, that is going to be expensive. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to really look into that one. It was like 10 grand just to stretch around this field alone. And that's... We can't do that now. That's like millionaire money when we can fence in the whole farm. Even though we want to do it. So yeah, let's see here. My plan for this field... Well, let's just do it. So if we look here, I was talking about the sheep. We've got this interesting little sheep paddock. I was thinking about plopping this down right over here, actually. I don't know. That's a good idea, bad idea. Let's make sure this is lined up so I don't get annoyed with it. It was not. The simple things. So yeah, kind of like that. How about that? Let's just help the grass grow a little bit in here. And on the outskirts. We'll try to stay out of the field proper. Yeah, there's a little bit of grass in there. That all looks pretty good. Look at that, we got a little sheep pen. That's pretty nifty. Let's buy a few sheep. Um, actually, hang on. What do we need for food for sheep? I guess we won't know until we buy one, maybe? I think you buy them somewhere around here. Yep, okay. So. These are all pretty cute. I like these little black Welsh mountains. Now, do we want them kind of In the range where they're going to have babies pretty soon, or? I think so. Let's buy like four of those. We'll just start with it. Ooh, look at them. There they are. Hey, buddy. He's feisty. Wow, this is a big step. We got a little community of sheep. Hey, guys. Ooh, they're eating away. So, yeah. What do we need for food for these guys? Let me see if I can see that now. Grass. We need grass. So that leads me into my next plan. It's to put grass down in this whole field. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. And also... Let me look at this for a sec. So yeah, we got the grass. And we'll stick that in. But what about olives or grapes? 
That would be interesting. The only problem with that that I see olive harvesting is very expensive as is grapes. I mean, it's only 12 grand to lease that, so it's not the end of the world. How do you actually put in grapes or olives? Do you plant them like this? I don't know. I haven't really looked. I'm not really sure how you do that. Oh, orchards. There you go. Okay, so you do. You just kind of plant them. So that's a little expensive. We'll think about that. I'm going to put grass in this section. And maybe later on over here we'll put a little orchard in. Once we check it out. I think that's a pretty good idea. So let me drive back over and see. I do have those bales over there. Those aren't grass though, are they? No. I guess we could buy a couple of grass bales to get us going. We're going to need some water over there. So let's get them sorted out real quick. Just enough to keep them going. Uh, actually. We don't really use the gator that often. Let's... Let's gallivant around in this little puppy for a little bit. Alright. Yeah, so we do still have like five or six bales over there by the horse barn. But I think that's hay. Man, I haven't looked at that in quite a while. Go pop over there for one sec. Yeah, that's like hay, I think. Oh, it's straw. Okay, so that's not helpful for us. We could go to sell that at some point. And kind of parlay that into some grass. Or we could just cut some grass. Because if we put in grass, we're going to need a lawnmower. And eventually, like, a baling thing and a wind rower and all that. So, that's going to be a whole ordeal. Oop. Let's see, where does the water go? Right there. Here you go. I'm working on food, guys. Hang on. I'm going to do that right now. There you go. They got a little bit of water, at least. They got plenty of grass to eat on that field right there, though. In their pen. To hold them over for a little bit. But let's make our way down to the store. And let's bring... Okay, yeah, I've got a whole idea about this. So let's see what we got here. Let's bring the little white tractor. Uh, hang on.
I want to set that down. I want to grab the bale spike. Which is over here. And actually, I wanted to drop that weight. So let me drop that. Let's go pick up a little bit of hay. I mean grass. I think we can buy grass. And maybe look into buying a lawnmower. Just while we're down there, we'll take a look. We're not going to actually need a lawnmower for a little bit, but... Just take a little look. What's that? Interesting new sign. I don't pay much attention to the signs. Sometimes they strike my fancy when I notice them randomly. Alright, let me run inside. See if they have any grass for sale. So, do they have grass bales? No. No, they don't. Um... I thought I had way more bales than that. Okay, fair enough. So we'll have to cut our own grass then. That's fine. We've got a little grass around the farm we can cut. So where's the mowers? Here's the mowers. Uh, before I look at that, are we gonna go baler? Or do we just want to go with, like, a forage wagon? 30 grand. Um, what else do I have here? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, look at that. That's, like, old school. Can I pick up grass with that? Yeah, that's grass right there, right? Oh, man, look at this thing. Ooh, I like that a lot. That's really interesting. How does that even work? Uh, that's pretty cool. Cheat? No, we don't want to cheat. Twelve... <laughs> 12,000 liters is pretty good. Wheel setup. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. I like the white. I think we're going to go with this. Let's just take a look and see what else we have, though, quick. We also have this, which is pretty cheap. Eh, uh, let's not overthink it. Let's give this thing a go. How much power do I need to pull this? 50? I can do that. Let's go without the shields. That's pretty cool. We'll see if it's working. Let's go with the wide... Uh, do we like the green? I kind of like the green. And the only question is, do we go with the yellow tires just to match it? Yeah, let's do it. So 12.5, that's not the end of the world. Especially because balers... Oh, that one's only 22, but yeah, most balers are just ridiculously expensive. 
So then we're going to need a mower. And we'll have to get a front mower if we're going to do like a cut and pull type thing. Uh, so let's see. Front mowers aren't that much. I don't have a huge selection here. The sept nuzzle. How wide is that? Two, four. Uh, hang on one sec. How wide was this? Does this say? I guess you don't know how wide that is. Um. Kong, Kong skill day. Is this a front one? It takes a hundred horse. I like the look of that streamline, but that's pretty pricey. Let's let's give this thing a try. What's that attachment there, though? This is for the front, right? Well, we'll find out. All right. Well, that's a good looking setup. The only issue is we're not going to be able to bring it all home right now unless we leave the fork here which we don't technically need at the moment Let's see if we can just leave it here we'll pick it up later I'm not sure if I'll be able to move all this with this little tractor but we'll give it a shot Oh, that thing's pretty big for this. But, we'll have a little weight on the back, so it should even out. Ooh, that's a cool little setup. That is a big front mower, though. I was not expecting it to be that big. Let's go give this setup a try. Oh, this is Russian. How about that? That thing is really cool. If that conveyor belt works, that's going to be... quite a sight to see. Alright. So yeah, we don't have a lot of grassland, but I think we have enough to kind of, yeah, like over here. We can chip away over here a little bit. Sorry, I'm blocking traffic. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's get a front view. Is that cutting grass? Oh, hang on one sec. I, uh, I think I forgot to drop that in the back. It's so slow backing up. This isn't the right tractor for it, though. Okay, there we go. We're picking it up. I don't see it going up the conveyor belt or anything, but... That's kind of disappointing. We are picking it up. Let's 
turn that off so I don't cut my crops up. Yeah, we'll just cut as much grass as we can, I guess. Get those sheep a little bit of food. We already have 1,200 liters. That's not too bad. Why am I going so fast right now? Our farm's gonna look super janky just cutting these random areas, but... That's alright. Oh, missed a little bit back there. Yeah, that's a shame it's not going up the conveyor belt. Thought I turned that off. I'll just scoop up this little spot I missed, and then we'll head over to the sheep. Whoa, watch out, Paul. Oh, I almost ran over Paul's foot. Sorry, buddy. Just a little bit over here, too. Looks like this little trailer is doing the job. It's not very powerful, but... There's quite a bit of grass to cut right here. Yeah, we got a decent amount. Way to crash our equipment first day. Good job. Thing's starting to bog down now. I think it's getting too heavy. Oh, there we go. Push. All right. Well, let's go see if we can drop what we have. We don't have the best road system to get over to the sheep. I'd like to run a road right behind here. Not that I can't just drive on it without a road, I guess. Be more convenient to have a road. see here where would I drop this over here I must I 
was pressing the wrong Can I unload this? What do you mean grass not accepted here? Grass. They want grass. Oh man, they eat hay. God dang. Could have just got them hay. What does that even mean? I'm confused. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. That was neat. Oh, man. We almost filled that thing up. Oh man, we almost filled that up and we barely cut any grass at all. Okay. Alright, I think that's gonna do it. When we come back, we will get some grass in this field and uh, do some other things that I've got planned. So, appreciate the heck out of you joining me. Hopefully see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. See you later.